Today we're going to talk about update queries and update queries are awesome because they allow you to update data in mass. So you could do this. This would take you forever to go through a huge data set and do this when you can just go and do something like this so much faster, so much more accurate and less prone to error. So check this out. I'm running this hitting yes. And now look, all my data is updated based on the gender right there and my prefix. So let's check it out. I'm going to show you how to do some update queries and it's going to be a game changer for you. Before we get into it though, I just have two rules with update queries. The first one, always make a backup of the table that you are going to update. Things can go bad and you might lose all of your data if you update the wrong thing. So that's the first thing I always do. Always have that backup. And second of all, after you make an update query, go ahead and just take out the update to part right there because if you accidentally leave that in for your next update query it's going to mess things up and you might update the wrong data uh, so those are my two rules okay all right this is my main data set right here so i have a list of employees i have some information i have some missing data right here and i have some missing columns here and i want to fill in all this information so I have another data set right here, and this is gonna fill in some of the gaps here. Now, one thing you might notice is I have 50 records here, and I have 51 here, and I did that on purpose. Uh, this record right here is not gonna be integrated over here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join these two on a common identifier, and that's employee ID. And once we do that, we're gonna run the update query, and we're gonna fill in some of these gaps. So let me show how you do it. We just go like this. Let's create a query. So employees, that's the one that I showed you that I need to update a little bit. And more employee data, that's the one that's going to fill in some gaps here. So let's make these big so we can see everything. All right, so we want to link employee ID. That's that common identifier. So I'm going to highlight. I'm going to drag over. And just to make sure it works, we should have 50 records show up. And I do one of each so I can see that it worked. And we got 50. Great. All right. Now let's start updating some data. All right, you might recall that I was missing a few uh, lines of data for age. And so I'm gonna say null here so I can identify those that are missing. So I have six. I like to click in the other table to make sure the data are actually there. And you can see that they are. And so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run this update query. I'm gonna get rid of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the table name for employee data, age, that's what we want to fill in. And I'm just going to hit run, hit yes. All right. Let's just check it out to make sure everything looks right. Great. So we got that age in there. Okay. Everyone's got an age now. Now let's fill in some of these other pieces of data. So we want the employee rating and position. And like I said, I'd like to just put them both in there to see side by side to make sure we got everything we need. All right, that's what we want to update. And that's the actual data that's going to go in there. It's all joined by the employee ID. All right, let's get rid of these. And I don't need to put anything in the criteria. All right, so now we want to grab employee rating from the more employee data table. Okay. Employee rating. Great. Employee data position. Okay. Just look at this always to make sure you never know when you have a similar looking field and you put in the wrong one. That's not good. All right, let's hit run. Okay. And let's just look real quick to make sure we got what we wanted. Okay, this is all filled in now, all of that. Now, when you're done with the update query, you want to take that out of there just in case you do more and you don't want to screw things up. So, Okay, I'm pretty much done with this more employee data table right here. I've gotten everything out of this that I can. And so there are a few things I still want to fix in my employees table. 
I want to take care of this retire eligible field. I want to mark that as true or yes for anybody over the age of 65. All right, so I'm going to look here. You can see all of these are blank or marked as no. So what I can do is set the criteria for over 65 and I should have three results here. Okay. Right here is where I want to put in true or I put in yes. Either of those are fine. Okay. I'm going to hit run. I'm going to hit yes. And now when I run a select query, these three are all marked as eligible to retire. Now, if I get rid of this, you can see how this looks with the full data set. All right, the last thing I wanna update here is my preferred prefix, which is gonna be based on gender right there. So for example, F for female, they would wanna be Ms, for example, or M for male, they'd wanna be Mr. Now I have a unique value down here, NB, and that person wants to be called doctor. For example, that's their preferred prefix. So there's a couple ways we can do this. We can, first, you could filter by gender. So put an M there and then update it here. Same for F and then MB. I don't recommend that. I think that's prone to error, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. Uh, if you're scared of if statements or whatever. Okay, so that was the easy way of doing it. But like I said, it's prone to error and I don't recommend it, but it does work. Now, if you just wanna look at this real quick, just to see that it did work, you can see everything on here, this and this and this, it all worked just fine. Now, let's say you make a mistake and you wanna get rid of all this data and you don't wanna to have to use a backup table. You can just go here, type in null to the field that you updated, hit run and now it's all blank again. All right, so I'm gonna use an if statement here. Now, if statements can be very tricky, but all we're doing here is we're saying, if the gender value is M, we want the Mr. as the preferred prefix. And if it's an F, we want Ms. If it's MB, we want Doctor. And one thing I like to do with if statements if they get complicated is I like to split them by rows, kind of like I'm doing on the right side of the screen right there. And then the end, I just put it all into one line, but this helps me see it better and it doesn't look so daunting this way now let's go here update it all right let's throw that in there so i right clicked paste and just want to make sure you can see it okay and when we're feeling confident let's go ahead and run it So let's check it out. There we go, we got it. So yeah, update queries are awesome. They'll save you tons of time. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions, anything like that, just uh, mention it in the comments. If you could like or subscribe, I'd be super grateful. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all soon.